There are two types of alignment in word processing, horizontal and vertical. Remember that horizontal means across and vertical is up and down. Horizontal alignment determines the appearance and orientation of the edges of the paragraph from the left to the right. You have four choices. You have left align, right align, center, and justify. Horizontal alignment is controlled by these four buttons of the paragraph group on the home ribbon. The first alignment button is for aligning text to the left. The second is for center. The third is for right. And then the last one is for justify alignment. As you can see here on, in this document, we already have some text typed. And each one of these sentences represents a different type of alignment. The first sentence says this text is left aligned, and it already is left aligned because the default alignment in Microsoft Word is left. That means that whenever you start typing, everything starts at the left margin unless you change it. So we will leave this sentence the way it is. The second sentence says this text is right aligned. To change the alignment, all you have to do is click anywhere in the sentence or the paragraph and then go up to your paragraph group and choose the option that you want to use. For right alignment, we said the third button represents that. And as you can see, when we point to align text right, it tells you the keyboard shortcut is Control R. The keyboard short shortcut for left aligning text is Control L. We're going to go up here and click the third button, the align text right button. And it changes the sentence over uh, where it's over on the right side of the screen. Notice that the sentence starts at the right, and then as you type, it would move text over towards the left. The third sentence is for centering. And we're going to center the text by going up to the paragraph group on the home ribbon and choosing the second alignment button. And you can see that the keyboard shortcut for centering is Control E. So let's click the center align button and it's going to center our text across the document. Okay, notice that whenever we chose right align and center align, when we chose these buttons up here in the paragraph group, it's aligning the text across the page, okay, from left, between the left and the right margins. The last paragraph is just made up of a sentence that I copied called, This Text is Justified. And to change a whole paragraph, all you have to do is click somewhere in it and then choose the button up here on the paragraph group. You don't have to select the whole text. All you have to do is click in it. Now, if you wanted to change the alignment of several lines where you actually um, hit enter to start the next line, then you would need to select all of those. But since this is the same paragraph, we didn't hit enter um, within the paragraph. We can just click somewhere in it. Now, justify alignment is a little bit different. With justify alignment, it's going to make it so that the left and the right margins are even. You can see here this is currently left aligned, which again is the default alignment. And you'll notice that the left side of the paragraph is even with the left margin. But the right side has jagged edges. It ends at different points on each line. So to make this justified so that both the right and the left margins are even, we're going to go up to the paragraph group and click the fourth alignment button. Did you see how the text jumped a little so that now it's lined up perfectly on the right margin? What happens is with justify alignment is it adds in extra spaces between words so that it can make the text even on both the left and the right sides. This type of alignment is popular for newsletters, um, different types of desktop publishing. You may see it in magazines or newspapers where the text is even on both sides. I wouldn't recommend using justify alignment if you are writing a paper for school. 
Now let's talk about vertical alignment. Vertical alignment refers to how the text lays out in relationship to the top and bottom margins. The options available for vertical alignment are top, center, bottom, and justify. The default alignment is top. Um, which is why whenever you start typing, you automatically are typing at the top of the document. It, whenever you type in additional lines, they appear beneath the first lines and they move further down the page as you input more text. Let's look at the different types of vertical alignment and where you go to find those options. If you want to change the vertical alignment, you first need to go to the Page Layout tab. In the Page Setup group, across from the words Page Setup, you see a little tiny box with an arrow. This is going to open up the Page Setup dialog box. So let's click this little tiny square button. Notice that you can change your margins here and you can also change your page orientation. But we want to go to the Layout tab. So click Layout. And you'll see in the middle of the dialog box there's a section called Page. And there's your vertical alignment. The drop down list shows you your different options. And there again you see Top, Center, Justified, and Bottom. We already have top vertical alignment because, again, that's the default alignment. Whenever you start typing your text, it always starts at the top unless you change it. All right, so you know what top vertical alignment looks like. Let's look at center vertical alignment. Once you choose your vertical alignment, click OK. And what will happen is your text, uh-oh, let me try that again. I think I forgot to click down here in this section. Again, we want to go to the Page Setup dialog box. We're already on the Layout tab, and we're going to choose Center and click OK. There we go. Now you can see that the text jumped down to the middle part of the document. Here's your space up top, and then here's your space at the bottom. Do you notice that you have just as much space, white space, at the top of your document as you do the bottom of the document? That's because we have centered our text within the middle of the document. I want you to also notice that the text is still left aligned. All of this text starts at the left margin. Because we didn't center it horizontally or across the page, we centered it vertically, which means it's between the top and the bottom margins. Okay? All right, now let's look at bottom vertical alignment. We're going to go back to our page setup dialog box by clicking this little square. Make sure you're on the layout tab. And then in the page section, choose the down arrow and we're going to choose bottom. We'll, we'll come back to justified. Alright, click OK. And now look what happened. Now your text has jumped to the bottom of the document. The only white space that's left is what's in the bottom margin. But if you scroll up, you'll notice that you've got all this white space uh, above the text. And that's because we have changed our vertical alignment so that it's at the bottom of the document. Okay, So you've seen top, you've seen bottom, and you've seen centered vertical alignment. Let's look and see what Justified will do. Click your box for your Page Setup dialog box. Make sure you're on the Layout tab. In the Page section of the dialog box, we want to choose the down arrow and click Justified. Now please keep in mind that when we justified the or we horizontally justified the text a while ago it made extra spaces jump between words so that the left and the right margins were even. Well let's look and see what happens with vertical alignment. We're going to click OK and wow look at that it didn't add any extra space between words. 
it added extra space between lines. So now your four lines of text are spread evenly throughout the page. Notice there again that it's still left aligned. The text is still aligned left for horizontal alignment, but it's justified vertical alignment. So whenever you have an exercise or an activity to do in the class, pay particular attention to what type of alignment. If it, if it says to horizontally center text or horizontally um, right, al right align text horizontally, you're going to go to the home ribbon and use these four buttons. If it just says to center or right align or justify, it's going to mean horizontally, which again, you go to the paragraph group on the home ribbon and you choose one of these four buttons. But if it says something about changing the vertical alignment, vertically justify, vertically center, okay, you're going to go to page layout, click the page setup dialog box launcher button, and on the layout tab you change your vertical alignment. Okay, thanks for your attention today.